We're gonna show a quick and easy way to open up a pomegranate without making a huge mess. I know that anyone that's tried to peel into a pomegranate, um, there's quite a mess that comes with it. It's kind of a process. There's more than one way to do this. I'm gonna show you how I do it. Uh, so pomegranates, a bowl, just a knife to cut them open. And then we're gonna do it in the kitchen sink. We're gonna start with filling up the bowl. Uh, mostly to the top. It doesn't matter if it is to the top. If it overflows, you're in the sink. So <laughs> we'll place this in the sink. And then these pomegranates, they haven't yet split, but they are ripe. Um, if your pomegranates have split, just be careful. Watch for uh, mold or sometimes you'll find bugs in there. So just make sure that you're picking out any damaged seeds. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut open just initially. And I'm gonna take a strong knife and I'm just gonna split it. So that'll cut a couple kernels of the pomegranate, but it's gonna give me um, getting into the pomegranate because without a knife, if they're not already cracked, you're not gonna be able to crack this yourself. Now, one thing to keep in mind is these seeds, they will definitely stain whatever you're, whatever they come into contact with. You can just see the juice on the knife. So, that's why I am gonna do it under the water. So I have my two halves. Once they're broken in half like that, you should be able to break them further just by splitting them. I do it underwater in case it splashes. So I'm just gonna start breaking them down into maybe eights like this. All right, so now you can see my pomegranate clearly broken up. So now I'll push it under the water and just gently take my hands and I will just continue to crack it down even farther. You're gonna get into big clusters like this that when you just give a little pressure to them, they all fall apart. What's nice here, the pulp should float to the top. The rind won't, but I don't, well, actually it might, um, but that's easy to pick out. So you're just trying to break it down under the water as much as possible and then take your pieces out. All of these can be saved for compost. If you know me, you know that I try to compost just about everything I can. Your seeds or kernels, whatever, I know they have a different name, they should fall to the bottom. So what I'm trying to do here is break everything down as small as possible. As I'm going, I'm getting the larger pieces out just while I'm working with them, setting them aside. And then I am just working through the pomegranate until there's nothing in there. And then at the end, I'll go in and I'll scoop all the, the pulp off the top. And then I'll have just a handful of pomegranates at the bottom. So I will speed it up and do, I'm just gonna do three pomegranates right now just to show you how it's done. So I'm just gonna go through that process real quick and then we'll talk about what to do after that. Okay, so you can kind of see here, much less of a mess than what would normally happen. There's still a little bit of pulp down in here, not a lot. All of that can go into my compost. Now it's mostly brown material. This right here is, it's essentially wood. I mean, it's not, but it will turn into wood-like material. So the smaller you can break it down, the better. This stuff like here, the seeds that will go into the compost, if any do, that's gonna be green material, but by far you're gonna be brown material going into your compost. So what I'll do now is I'll just uh, drain the water and then my seeds are basically ready to eat. And they have kind of a large wooden seed in it, which you can eat, it's fine. Um, or you could spit them out like sunflower seeds if you want but the seed that's inside of what we call the seed, 
what I call the seed, that's not the right name, is, um, is edible. So my daughter actually, while I was over here saying, I can't remember the name, she looked it up. And so she's gonna tell you a little bit about pomegranates. Kennedy, tell us what you know. The seeds in pomegranates are called arils and um, they're hard to get to, but it's worth it because they have a lot of antioxidants. So they're healthy. Thank you, Kennedy. All right, so I'm just gonna clean that up. All right, so these arrows, what I call the seeds, there's a little bit of the shell that I missed and pulp, but for the most part, that's good to go. Um, you can freeze them, but if you freeze them, just keep in mind that when you thaw them, they're gonna kind of break down and they're gonna start to be a little mush mushy, just kind of like grapes. If you freeze your grapes, they're fine if you eat them frozen, but the moment you try to thaw them, they're gonna be kind of a weird, gross texture. So that are, those are my uh, pomegranate seeds that are edible. All of that from three pomegranates can go into my compost. So my wife showed me an awesome video or a reel on how to, um, to take out the arils or what I call seeds from a pomegranate. And it looked too good to be true. It, it kind of was. So here's my takeaway on it. The video of the reel was, it was an awesome reel and it made it look really cool. Um, my thoughts on it, I tried to be as clean and, and good as I could with it. I still made a mess and I lost probably a fifth of all the pomegranate arils or seeds. So I'll kind of show you what I got. Now, it took about the same amount of time, so I guess if time's your factor and you don't care about the waste, maybe this is a good way for you to go because I uh, I have none of the pulp in there, so in that sense, it's, it's good. But if you look, I mean, I wasted a ton, and this is after I kind of rinsed out the sink a bit, so there was a lot of the juice too, which will stain. Um, so my takeaway is I still prefer my other way to do this just because I get much more and there's no mess but this is a quick way to do it, if you don't mind a lot of waste. Thank you. 